ladies and gentlemen, TK-17. Uh, thank you all. Um, I'm just, uh, no, 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 not face that, my jeans, up. Oh. I'm here to say something about a death of a rapper. I mean, really. Bruh, it's some strange times. <sighs> really, nigga? 2020 is really the worst year, year for me, bruh. Just gonna come out to say this, but y'all ever heard of King Vaughn? I never heard of him. I don't know who he is, but there's some news going on about him. He's dead. I was so devastating. It was so devastating for me to hear that, but. As you may already know, I was rehearsing, rehearsing for a virtual tour, which is also around the country, and um, and I got a message from Alistair saying that King Von died. He's sh he shot, and I was like, "What? No, no, no! This can't be true! Oh my God!" And I was very 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 shocked and I cried and I really really cried about that my heart goes out to his family to Lil Dirk and his fans and the comment 6 9 made was humiliating that was so disrespectful 6 9 I'm coming after you, 6 9 Whenever you, I see you, I got the knife in my hand. Got that knife. It will symbolize you dead. For disrespecting our famous rapper Lil Durk. The one I never heard of. But, yeah, I just gotta say, come out and say rest in peace Lil Durk. Put in hashtag long live the king. Thank you. God bless you all and goodbye.